It's no secret that Scott Disick likes dating very young women, but it turns out that even his daughter wishes he would put an end to his disturbing pattern. In a recent episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Penelope called her dad out. I'm not gonna date someone 19. Chloe and Chris were planning to help Scott find a new girlfriend with the help of a matchmaker when they asked 11-year-old Penelope for her opinion. But how she replied was extremely telling. What? qualities should we look for in a girl? Older. Penelope didn't even hesitate with her answer. The fact that the first thing she said was related to age revealed exactly what bothers her the most about her dad's choice of women. But that wasn't the only requirement that she had for Scott's next girlfriend. Good personality. Mm -hmm. She can be pretty. Penelope even threw some shade at her dad with her next standard. Someone cool. who goes to the gym. Because huh? you need to go to the gym also. But when Chloe mentioned that Scott's new age range hadn't really changed that much, Penelope was definitely not impressed. She let her dad know that she didn't approve and she did not hold back. He was saying late 20s, but I said young 30s no, is fine. No, 20s. She even tried to give him a reality check by bringing up his age. You're 40. Scott laughed a little bit, but Penelope was clearly upset that his dating pattern hadn't changed. And honestly, who can really blame her? He has a well-known history of hanging out with and dating literal teenagers, which is seriously unsettling. It was pleasantly surprising that Scott was finally called out by someone in his family for his creepy pattern, but it's really sad that it was by his own preteen daughter. Even after Penelope told Scott that he can't date 19-year-olds anymore, his response was so alarming. Ooh. I would. Yeah, he would. But it's no. not a good look. Apparently, he's starting to realize that being in relationships with teenagers isn't great for his image. But it's so off-putting that Scott told Penelope he would still be fine with dating another 19-year-old, especially after she voiced her disapproval. He made it incredibly clear that he knows what he's been doing is kind of wrong. Penelope was obviously trying to get him to stop being a creep, and now she's even more aware that he doesn't actually want to stop at all. Scott is more concerned with how the public perceives him than how his own daughter sees him, which is absolutely ridiculous. But if he doesn't take Penelope's dating advice soon, he could end up affecting her in quite a few unbelievable ways. Ever since Scott and Courtney broke up for the final time in 2015, he's been spotted cuddling and partying with mostly 18 and 19 year olds. A lot of people hear about Scott typically dating girls who are in their early 20s, but those relationships usually started way earlier. When Scott was first linked to Sophia Richie in May 2017, he had just turned 34. Meanwhile, she was only 18 years old. Sophia was closer in age to Penelope than she was to Scott. That's been a common theme with almost all of his girlfriends, which is so bizarre. It's completely understandable that Penelope is bothered by her dad dating women who are close to her in age than they are to him. What's going to happen in a few years when she no longer feels comfortable having him around her friends? Not to mention Penelope's brother is almost 14 years old. If Mason dates any girls in the near future, will he have to worry about his dad flirting with his girlfriend? This might sound like a bit of a reach, but what Scott was doing in his mid-30s was honestly disgusting. In September 2017, Scott was seen partying with teenage girls on more than one occasion. During one of those nights, he was hanging out with then 18-year-old Madison Beer and then 19-year-old Delilah Hamlin, but that's not all. Scott, Madison, and Delilah were also joined by Swade Brooks, who was only 16 years old at the time. There was no good reason for any 34-year-old man to be hanging out with a group of teenage girls that he isn't related to, especially when one of them is a literal child. But to make matters even worse, Scott was using his fame and celebrity power to try to win over the girls. He actually took them jewelry shopping and out to get ice cream, which is not only weird, but also unbelievably gross. At this point, I can't help but wonder, why is Penelope seemingly the first one in the family to seriously confront Scott about his preferences for dating young girls? If he doesn't change his ways soon, it's going to have a big impact on both her and Mason's social lives. Even if Scott's kids don't feel concerned that their dad will hit on their female friends, 
what will those girls' parents think? After all, Sophia wasn't the last girlfriend he had that was extremely young. A few years ago, Scott and his then girlfriend had a shocking age gap. When Scott was 37, he dated Amelia Gray Hamlin, who was only 19 years old at the time. The difference between their ages was outstanding, since Scott was old enough to be Amelia's father. What that could mean for his actual daughter in the future is truly insane. If Penelope is already questioning her dad's moral judgment and character at 11 years old, how is she going to view him five or ten years from now. She and Scott seem to have a pretty close relationship now, but she's clearly starting to form certain opinions of him. Many psychologists believe that children's experiences with their parents will help shape or influence their own relationships in the future. If Scott doesn't take Penelope's disapproval into consideration, his obsession with dating young girls could have a really harmful impact. Penelope could very likely end up resenting her dad for his age preference, especially if he keeps dating teenagers as she gets older. If she carries that judgment and resentment into her own dating life as an adult, she might have a tough time feeling secure in a relationship. Not only that, but if Penelope doesn't already have access to online articles about her parents, she will before long. What is she going to think when she discovers that he was having late night hangouts with 16 and 18 year olds in his mid 30s? Penelope's relationship with Scott could eventually take a turn for the worse when she realizes why he's only interested in very young women. He's so emotionally stunted, but he knows that women even remotely close to his age won't put up with his immaturity. It's bad enough that Penelope is already seeing her dad as a weird and maybe even creepy. But when she understands more about why he wants to date teenagers, is she really going to feel like she can relate to him or respect him enough to have a close relationship with him? Scott has previously claimed that he likes dating younger women because he feels younger than he really is and they bring out his youthfulness. But when Andy Cohen asked him why he's constantly seeking out such young girls, Scott's answer was ridiculous. I don't go out looking for young girls. Okay. They happen to be attracted to me because I look young. He acts like he has no control over who he dates, but there are plenty of men his age who would never date an 18 year old. And if Scott's appearance is the real reason why he's always with super young women, why does he use his fame and money to keep them? Penelope has more common sense and awareness at 11 than Scott might ever have, which is honestly really sad. But hopefully a miracle happens and he takes her age requirement for his next girlfriend to heart. If Scott doesn't change his creepy relationship pattern, he's going to be dating his children's peers before long. That could very likely end up seriously hurting the close relationships that he has with his kids. But it might also damage Penelope's perception of her dad, her social life, and her own relationships in the future. It would be amazing if Scott's next girlfriend was closer to his age and he was with her for the right reasons. But based on his history and the fact that he told Penelope that he would still date a 19 year old girl, I wouldn't hold my breath. Anyway, now that we've talked about Penelope calling Scott out for dating young girls and the effects that his creepy pattern might have on her future, I'm curious, what do you guys think about Penelope's requirements of her dad's next girlfriend? And what are your thoughts on Scott still being interested in dating 19 year olds now that he's 40? Let me know in the comments below.